Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wind Railway Adventures, Episode 44, Donald Visits the Scrapyard. So Topham had called Donald, the Scottish twin, to the shed one evening. He had important news. Today, he, tonight, he said, I want you to go to the scrapyard. What for? asked Donald. Well, that, see that field car you're pulling? Yes, said Donald. Well, I want you to, I want you to take it there. There's a shortage of fuel, so they need that. You can also take tow the brake van with you. He could be helpful. Okay, sir, said Donald. I'll be right on my way. Just then, James puffed up. Hello, James, said Sir Topham Hat. Have you found the breakdown train? No, sir, said James. I'm afraid not. I don't know where it's gone. Don, was confused. The breakdown train? Yes, said Sir Topham Hat. It's, it's been missing all day. Rocky's been really busy. Hope you find it, said Donald, and he, and he puffed along his way. Donald knew he had to make good time to impress Sir Topham Hat. He charged along the line very quickly, but in doing so, he still got to talk to Toad the Brake Man. They chatted the entire way. Don was very pleased with this job. It made him feel very important. They charged at Gordon's Hill with great ease and went down as quick as they came. Then they came across the brown turntable. Donald's driver stopped them. There lay ahead the scrapyard. Okay, said Donald's driver. Here we go. Toad wasn't so sure. He and all he and Oliver had been rescued from a from the scrapyard before, and it still gave them the and he was still very uncomfortable going there. Don't worry, said Donald. That was a long time ago. There's no diesels here now. Toad knew he was right. Donald came into the scrapyard. There were pieces of scrap everywhere. Wow, said Donald. There's a lot of stuff in here. But look, Toad, look what I found. What is it? asked Toad. Look, it's the breakdown train. What's it doing in the scrapyard? I don't know, said Toad, but when we go back, we better tell Sir Topham Hat. We don't want that to get scrapped. Indeed, said Donald. Suddenly he, suddenly, he and his driver heard a noise. Be quiet, said the driver. I think I hear something. Me too, whispered Donald. It was coming from the shed. Donald and his driver didn't know what it was. What is it, asked Donald. I don't know, said, Don, said Donald's driver, but they soon found out. Out lurked two familiar diesels. Donald gasped. It was Diesel 199 and the Diesel, or Class 40. Donald was shocked. Oh my gosh, he said. What are they doing here? So Topham Hat never brought them back to the railway. I know, said his driver. When we get back, we'll have to tell them that diesels are invading the railway. They aren't supposed to be here. I know, said Donald. Shh, said his driver. They could hear us, and then they realized that we're spying on them. Be quiet. Oh, sorry, said Donald. Diesel 199 rounded the bend. He began pulling a goods train. What are they doing? asked Donald. I think they're trying to take some of Sir Topham Hatt's stuff. We better, we better warn him. Oh, be quiet, you trucks, said Diesel 199. Well, that's the last of them, said Class 40. We better get along our way, said Diesel 199. Otherwise, you know what will happen. Yeah, said Class 40. We better. Donald and his driver knew they had to save the trucks. Come on, he said. Toad, we're going to put you in a siding right here. Why? Just hold on, said Donald. We'll come back for you. Let's get those trucks. Donald puffed along the line quietly. He was coupled to them, even though the brake van was at the front. Shh, said Donald. We're getting you guys out of here so you guys aren't scrapped. Hooray, said the trucks. But be very quiet. Donald's driver coupled them to them. Then they set off. Meanwhile, the diesels were setting off too. 
Hey, wait a second, said Class 40. Why are those trucks moving? Ooh, said Diesel 199. They're moving magically. No, they aren't. Someone's stealing them. Look! It's the Black Puffball. Go get him! Oh, no, said Donald. The Diesels raced after him. Go, 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 said his driver. Don't let them get near you. I won't, said Donald. I'm going as fast as I can. The diesels charged along the line after them. Meanwhile, Donald was doing his best. He was puffing as hard as he could. But the diesels were right behind him. I can't go any faster, said Donald. It's all right, said his driver, but it wasn't. Donald was losing steam fast. Help, he said, as he stormed past Thomas. What was that all about, asked Thomas, but no one answered him. The diesels came rushing after him. Ha, 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 they yelled, we've got you now. Donald suddenly stopped. He had a plan. He, suddenly, he stopped all of a sudden. The diesels didn't have time to stop either, and they rammed into the back of the train. train was a mess. The diesels were very shocked. Ouch, they said. What was that? Well done, well done, boy, said his driver. But that wasn't it. L let me go shut their engines off so they can't get away. But they got away before he could. Before his driver could go shut them off. They raced about the line. Bother, said his driver. We almost had him. Never mind that, said Donald. Let's go tell Sir Topham Hat. You're right, said his driver. Let's go. Meanwhile, Sir Topham Hat was back at the shed. James was still there, too. Donald rushed in. Sir Topham Hat! Sir Topham Hat! What is it? said Sir Topham Hat. There's diesels invading your railway. What do you mean? said Sir Topham Hat. Well, said Donald, uh, we saw a uh, spam can and Class 40 on your railway. They tried to steal some troublesome trucks, but we stopped them. However, they got away before the, our, my driver could shut them off. Well, at least we know that there are diesels on our railway. I better think that over. And by the way... Where's Toad in the field car? Oh no, said Donald. I better go get him. And he rushed away. Sir so Topham had a lot to think of, but had a lot to think about. But before he could think of anything, all he thought of was going to bed to sleep.